Hi, okay, it's Fat Stormtrooper from, from uh, Daft Chicken Gaming. Um, one of the guys has asked me to go through my killer exclusive collection. I've got a good, unusual uh, collection of killer exclusives, and um, I most recently got one that's, um, you know, really, it's a one of one, and it's one of the, I think, one of the legendary hats. I mean, firstly, let's go and have a look at uh, um, uh, hats. Now, the Burning Killer exclusive bl briefly <coughs> catapulted the fly uh, fame because it overtook the Burning Teen Captain as his most desirable hat. Now, a lot of that was actually due to the fact that it was a transaction that somebody found us in Verticomma's secret transaction for the killer, the uh, Team Captain being sold for actually less than what it was. But in actual fact, it was what it was traded for in pans plus cash. So in actual fact, it was at a time when, generally speaking, team captains were selling for about six or seven golden frying pans. Yes, six or seven golden frying pans, which is quite a quite a uh, thing. So obviously they found a sale. Oh, it's only 5,500 because there's five pans, but there were cash involved as well. So that upset the market, and then the killer exclusive overtook. Then, then uh, it was uh, popularised, um, and eventually it made it up into the, the, the realm of being worth about uh, 10,000 US dollars. Um, now, revised prices have seen a couple of sales uh, come around and, and a drop in value, but uh, nonetheless, it is still a hat of significant value and there's my one here Bernie Sanders 2.0 um, the burning flames uh, um, killer exclusive so that is a hat that I do like wearing with certain uh, loadouts and it is a standalone unusual because it is an unusual that uh, is um, as well recognized and it is an all-classer a team captain cannot go in all classes it can it is a multi-class hat it can go on the doctor, the soldier, uh, the hoovy, um, and, but it cannot. You cannot wear that hat if you are a pyro, um, and you cannot wear that hat if you are a spy or a sniper. Um, <coughs> the killer exclusive is a hat that I, I would associate mainly with the spy and maybe the sniper, but especially the uh, uh, say. But, but, but also the scout but it is a hat that can be worn on any class and it does look a repressible thing and it's got the press in there the freedom of the press as it were so that is a burning team captain the next one a molten mallard now why i like the molten mallard is if i can combine it with my i've got a duck viewfinder and i've got another multi-class miscellaneous then with virtually any class i can have a triple duck effect so that's pretty special really especially your duck manic and i'm sort of i'm like a person that likes ducks so i'm, I'm pretty good with that you know so that is why you know the molten mallard is in my collection aces high well a spy with that hat on or a, you know counting out the money with his taunt and 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 um, the gambling element it, it's a good hat you know um, green energy well green energy that just goes with a lot of other hats and if you combine it with something else like I've got a purple energy um, uh, effect uh, you can get a beautiful white energy effect which is pretty nice um, electrostatic Electrostatic um, is not a bad effect. I don't mind it. Um, I tend to only use it in combinations, but it's not a bad effect. Circling TF logo. Well, I don't know why I got that hat, because I think I don't actually really like that effect that much. But I think somebody was saying to me, oh, yeah, TF logo, that's terrible. So just to... I don't know, just to, to, to um, voice my general protest, I wore the Circling TF2 logo, just and, and sometimes I do do it, because I, I just find the Circling TF logo cringeworthy. Some of my friends absolutely love it, but like when I, when I wear that hat, I'm generally trying to cringe people out. Um, this is my latest acquisition. This is a secret to everyone. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, okay? And... It is a hat that's that's been locked up in collections for a long while. I have been offered it in the past, and um, I've seen it being it's painted painted age moustache grey, and it's been that colour for a while. I think I can't. I mean, but 
I've actually got it now. How much did it cost? Well, uh, well, actually, I'm going to tell you. It cost the equivalent of five thousand two hundred US dollars. So this is a hat which I have been looking at for a long time, and you know, whispering around, and people say, "Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah," and I'm saying, "Well, maybe I want to get that. Maybe I don't. I like the look of it." But I don't want people to, be too, you know. But you know, the I like the secret to uh, as a secret to everyone effect, especially if it's combined with an energy effect, and uh, because it gives a sort of a, a background color for the skeletons to dance on. Um, yeah, I, I quite uh, so so background energy you know, for the for the um, uh, for the ske the skeleton head to to appear against. I actually like it with sunbeams. It's it's a hat that I actually quite like, but uh, uh, especially in uh, multi class. But it also does stand alone. Just going down here, morning glory. I love morning glory effects and things like the scout and yeah, you know, I've got it with sunbeams and you can make a really sort of bright, sort of sunny collection of, of uh, unusuals. Antifreeze. Antifreeze is a great effect. It is the opposite to electrostatic in color. It's a nice effect, and you can combine it with an electrostatic miscellaneous, and I've got one of those, and you can get like a wide energy effect um, electrostatic. Um, and so that's my team, uh, this, that's my um, uh, uh, killer exclusives. Uh, where, where do I use them? Do I lo use them in my loadouts routinely? Um, under Scout at the moment, that is where I use it. I've actually this is my hot scout loadout. Um, this this uh, this is the uh, Bernie Sanders Burning Flames. You can see here this is a molten mallard pullover. See that that can be used as a misc uh, and under hellfire. So three hot fiery effects with a shot to hell, a sun on a stick, and a soda popper with a hot effect, and obviously a fireproof. Diary. So everything about this loadout is hot. Um, any other loadouts I use it in? I did used to use it in this one here. Um, I, I had. I mean, the secret to everyone. You see the moon here. I'll probably start using it in that loadout now. You see how it goes between moon and a skull. It's quite an interesting thing. Um, so uh, that's the, the the other one I do uh, as I use the burning, coupled with here the antifreeze antlers, and the death at dusk. So you get like a tiered effect. So that's the other one I use it for in soldiers. In pyros, I used to use it a lot, but I've moved away from the the killer exclusive because, um, except for this one here, the Bernie Sanders, because the burning flames. And again, it's like the same hot effect for the scout. And again, volcano fragment, fire glaze flame for a lightning rod shotgun, uh, with, of course, with a energy orb, which looks like a bit hot of effect. Demo Man. Um, I, I, I think for all my Demo Man loadouts, I've abandoned the killer exclusive for the moment. I used to use it in heavy. I don't think I do anymore because there, I found other hats. That's yeah. You know, this is a n nice triple portal effect. I uh, yeah. I wish to God they had a a, a friggin' killer exclusive with this, because if they did, I probably would use that as part of it. Um, NG's uh, killer exclusive. I, I've never really. That's this. This is an interesting effect. This is a triple stair effect. Um, again, NG's have never really been um, good in my opinion with a killer exclusive. Doctors, again, there are far more thematic hats around for a doctor. To um, I've used the killer exclusive here with the Molten Mallard. This is the effect where you've got a Molten Mallard, Molten Mallard, and Molten Mallard. It's a triple duck. I can only see two ducks there, though. But, yeah, on the server, it's a triple duck. It's got the outrageous duck journal. Everything is duck. So that's why I used it um, here. If I got another... Um, so I can I can do an all class triple duck loadout from pretty well any class. Um, this one here for for, for uh, killer exclusives. To tell you the truth, I don't really think there's anything in the sniper I want on it. The spy um, I've changed this to a genuine loadout um, because I was making a video on it. Um, 
I do use it for the Triple Duck Spy because I the Triple Duck Spy is great because it can have the Quacken Bird, which is a duck. Um, I can't get anything to duck here, but uh, that's another use for Killer Exclusive, and that's really the only uh, that yeah that's the only one I'm using for Spy at the moment. But I mean, if we went over to this line out here, which is the um, the Grandmaster, we could cross just as easily. I mean. It's a secret to everyone's a, a, a good one. Um, let's just see what that looks like. Bang! Let's replace. Let's replace the uh, the Grandmaster. Um, yeah, it looks fairly evil with anonymous skull above you. Um, that there's spellbound. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm convinced with spellbound. Um, Any other unusuals that might uh, suffice here? Something, something spooky. I want something fucking spooky here. Um, the no mercy is uh, over the polar pullover with green energy. See, if you balance this, adjust the unusual, and pull it down a bit. It's in. You know, it doesn't look that good in the middle of it. You want it right up there. And then you've got a double effect. But again, I mean, uh, you can see the killer exclusive is a virtual, a sorry, versatile hat because it is an all classer, and it actually looks really good on the spy, the scout. Um, it doesn't look bad on the medic. Uh, the other classes it looks okay on, but I mean, I reckon spy scout. And maybe the sniper that they're the guys that uh, sort of fit the hat the, the best um, the scout undoubtedly is the one that the, the, the hat uh, I mean the hat makes the scout I mean it's a pity I wish I could get something without the eyes obscured but the cat the scout really is made by the killer exclusive in this loadout piece <laughs>